this weekend we come into here not knowing what you know how it would go, but uh, we've uh, we struggled initially, and uh, now we managed to to sort of cure all my uh, all my complaints with the bite. So now looking forward to to the rest of the season. No, the team's really good. You know they're they're working really hard behind the scenes in in with developing the bike in trying to get you know me uh, comfortable on it and um, you know it's been going really good so uh, we're not too far away now and uh, like I say we've got a lot of work to go and a lot more development to do and I think once we we sort of conquer all of it then um, we should be you know mega strong for sure. The bike's getting a lot better I feel a lot happier on it and uh, and just really looking forward to getting the races underway today and, and then getting to some some tracks that are a little bit more suited to me you know this isn't my favourite track by far but um, you know, I think we can still have some good results in, and then for the rest of the year, I think we should uh, hopefully start taking uh, some leaps and bounds forward. It's been difficult uh, right from the first round. We, I didn't really feel uh, I was ready to go. I still felt I had a lot of work to do with uh, the early uh, teething problems with the brand new motorbike. But since then, we've improved the bike. I hope you know the team have worked really hard, and a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes work's gone on that now I can arrive at a track and be kind of top five pace right from from first free practice. We have some uh, testing plans uh, coming up after this race, and a few uh, further developments with the bike, and I think that'll take us up to where we need to be that we can challenge for race wins. So. Fingers crossed we could still actually be in that championship fight. You know, so far this season we haven't really shown form to say we're championship contenders, but um, who knows, it's still all to play for with the BSB rules. So uh, we'll keep working hard and uh, hopefully we're winning races before too long. Team are quite uh, well known to me. I've, I've raced for them in the past when they were relentless Suzuki. We won the British Supersport Championship together. So coming back in with the TAS team, it's uh, it's kind of like putting on an old shoe. It just, just fits, it's comfortable. We, we, we were all kind of... Uh, work well together without without um, having to say too much. Philip's good, yeah, he's an ex-racer himself, so he's quite understanding of the rider position, you know, all the emotions and, and various pressures you go through on a race weekend, so he knows when to give you grief and when to when to hold it back for the Monday after the race or whatever. The team in general, the, the infrastructure behind behind the team has been has been pretty much the same for the last 10 or 15 years. Um, Michael's ridden for us before, so he knows us really well, and he's come back into the setup um, obviously on a new bike, but that's been quite simple. Tommy Bridewell, a um, bit of a character. We've always had characters in the team. Uh, Tommy's now starting to really get together with the, the BMW S 1000 RR, as, as we've seen with some of his results. And this weekend, um, again, very confident that he can, they can push further into that top six. of Thruxton, the fastest racing circuit in the UK. Hidden's in the eighth, ninth for Walker, tenth Bridewell, sorry, eleventh Bridewell. No, no he oh. isn't. That, that's, is that Ellison? It's one of the, it might have been Ellison. That's, that's got to be a red flag. Yeah, well, and the red, red flag, flag goes out. The lights go out on 15 laps then, and a good start. Bridewell's got a terrific start in fifth place for Tyco BMW. The Milwaukee Yamaha wins it cleanly. Oh! oh! Crash. And that's Bridewell. Loverty is gifted a ninth place finish ahead of Martin Jessup. Great start there by Josh Brooks. Tommy Bridewell. <laughs> it's uh, Thomas George Bridewell the second is hunting down Danny Buchan. Josh Brooks crosses the line. It is his 24th British Superbike race win. His shaky burn does get second place. A career best third for Mossy. Fourth Bridewell. Fifth Linfoot. Sixth the Tyco BMW. Seven. Well, we were obviously with another manufacturer for uh, a long period of time. Um, and the transitional period is quite small between seasons. But yeah, I mean, we were looking for extra horsepower. We've got that with the BMW. And it's now just finding the, the sweet spot for the, for the guys. 